Hey everybody and welcome to episode 346 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, June 14th, 2017. Ricky, Black Panther trailer is out. Yeah, it's crazy. It was it's awesome, good. wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's looking like it's going to be... What I really liked about it was it was like colorful. It, but not like Guardians of the Galaxy colorful where you're like, oh, it's all neon. It's just right. like, there's just color. In there's it. something cool about it, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, lo it looks like it's going to be really action-packed. Kevin, did you see the Spider-Man trailer for uh, the new game that's coming out? I did not. I heard it's a darker version of uh, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. Miles Morales is in it. That's yeah. gonna be pretty sweet. Um, but it plays basically like Arkham Asylum. Like, so. Oh, okay. Maybe that's where I got darker from. I heard a lot of people comparing it to Arkham Asylum, and yeah. I just assumed no, no. it's gonna be this dark, creepy Spider-Man thing. Gameplay but wise. just gameplay-wise, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Like, uh, I don't, I don't really play any video games, but uh, really good comic book video games are always good for the comic book industry. So uh, excited to see how that does. Uh, out of E3, what's the thing you're most looking forward to? Uh, probably that game. Probably that game? Yeah, that game was big. What would you Kevin? Uh, I'm looking forward to any of the cringe compilation clips <laughs> that come out of E3. Those are always really entertaining. Uh, I, you know, honestly, I don't have a lot of time to play video games, so I just like hear about these things in passing. They sound all really cool. Um, I wish I had time to play them. So. One day. One day. One day. When I retire. Anyways, Ricky, uh, enough about my boring ass life. Let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, we've got uh, the first book up today from Action Lab Comics. It is Kid Sherlock, issue number one. A new installment of the Dresden Files. We've got Dogmen. This is issue number one. We've got two more of these cool Alterna uh, $1.50 newsprint style uh, comic books. Trespassers number one and Mother Russia number one. A new one from Image Comics uh, and Skybound, uh, the, the imprint that brought you books like Walking Dead and Thief of Thieves. We have Kill the Minotaur, number one. Optimus Prime, issue number eight. Rye, the History of the Valiant Universe, issue number one. Gem and the Holograms, number 26. Galaxy of Brutality, Space Riders, issue number two. From Lion Forge Comics and the Mind of Joe Casey, we have Excel, issue number one. American Gods number four. Back to the Future number 20. Invader Zim number 20. Sovereigns issue number two. From Garth Ennis and Aftershock Comics we have Jimmy's Bastards number one. Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Aliens issue number four. And then we've got Betty and Veronica number three this week and you've got to choose whether you are Team Betty or Team Veronica. All right, moving on to Marvel, we've got issue three of Zombies Assemble, Secret Warriors issue three, Unbelievable Gwenpool issue number 17, and here is the Mary Jane variant, Deadpool number 32, and the Mary Jane variant for Deadpool. As a reminder, uh, Marvel's doing Mary Jane themed variants this month. X-Men Blue number five, and the Mary Jane variant for that book. All New Wolverine number 21, this is the regular cover, the Mary Jane variant and the Leonard Kirk variant. Thanos number eight. For those of you who are into director's cut books, we've got a director's cut for Vision issue number one, a couple different covers, um, script pages, uh, uncolored pencils, lots of cool stuff if you're into the process of creating comics. We have the Mary Jane variant for Hulk uh, number seven. Weapon X issue 4, Generation X number 3, Secret Empire United issue number 1, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows issue number 8, Venom issue number 151, here is the Venom Mary Jane variant, Star Wars issue 32, it's the Star Wars action figure variant, Brian Michael Bendis brings us the uh, new ongoing series featuring the four characters that will make up the Defenders on the Netflix television show. Uh, this is Defenders issue number one regular cover. Here we have the Jack Kirby variant. Here's a Neil Adams variant and a David Mack variant. Old Man Logan 25 sees the return of Maestro. This is Days of Anger part one. 
and uh, should be a killer story. The corner box variant, this Mike Diodato Jr. variant, and this uh, pretty awesome Old Man Logan uh, Hulk 181 cover swipe variant. Uh, and finally for Marvel today we've got Secret Empire issue number four. This is the regular cover and here is the variant cover. Alright, not gonna lie, these are pretty cool. We've got some Looney Tunes, DC Comics crossovers. First up we have Legion of Superheroes, Bugs Bunny. Check that out. Some classic uh, cover swipes there. And this one's just a natural fit. It's Marvin the Martian and Martian Manhunter. Scooby Apocalypse number 14, not gonna lie, this is a very disturbing cover for a Scooby-Doo comic. I don't know what the heck's going on here, but I don't know if I like that. I, in fact, I know I don't like that. Bug, The Adventures of Forager, issue number 2 from the All Reds. Superwoman number 11, The Flash number 24, Suicide Squad number 19, New Superman number 12, Red Hood and the Outlaws number 11. Detective Comics number 958, Titans number 12, Wonder Woman number 24, lots of people added Wonder Woman to their subscription after the movie a couple weeks back, so great to see Wonder Woman doing well. Action Comics 981, alright, the return of the metallic cover to DC Comics. This is Batman Dark Days The Forge, issue number one. Uh, this is the regular cover, the Jim Lee art with the shiny, shiny title dress and uh, the creator names are shiny as well. And uh, speaking of creator names on this book, it is an all-star list. Guys like Jim Lee, Scott Snyder, James the IV, uh, John Romita Jr., Andy Kubert as well, the list goes on and on. Um, so this is an exciting one. This is the regular cover. Here is the John Romita Jr. variant, non-shiny. And the Andy Kubert variant, also non-shiny. Alright guys, prize time. So last week I asked you, um, what's the best way to remove a baby tooth uh, through superheroes? And we got some pretty awesome answers. Louis Anthony Reyes said, Superman will be my pick for removing my teeth, using the frozen breath to make anesthesia, then with x-ray vision, preparing the op, and then with lasers to make a perfect operation by removing my painful tooth without using the strength. That's pretty, that's precision work. And you know who could do it? Superman can do it. Frank Ice Party said Lobo is such a manly man that he was born with all his adult teeth. That's how he got rid of all his baby teeth. Oh, he just, just popped out of his mouth. Uh, he didn't even have them. When he was born, it fell out. Just extra teeth. <laughs> uh, Ray MBWW said how to remove a Hulk tooth. Ask Ant-Man to shrink the tooth, of course or use a strong unbreakable line to Hulk's tooth and the end to Thor's hammer of which Thor will throw away. Or just ask Hulk's cousin Jennifer She-Hulk to pull it out quickly. Uh, I really like the hammer situation because you could just imagine Thor like, hey, yeah, and he throws it and then Hulk would probably go flying with it. And it'd be hilarious and everyone would laugh. It'd be great. Uh, but the winner goes to Jeff Stelling who says, Charles Xavier's dentist for gifted youngsters. You go to Charles to make you feel relaxed and take your mind off of it while Cyclops blasts the tooth out and Quicksilver moves you out of the way once the blast has hit your baby tooth. I mean, I mean, Professor X could easily just use his mind to pull out the tooth, but no. We need extra X-Men because we're making jobs in the X-Mansion. Got to get them jobs going, and uh, it'll probably be super expensive to get your teeth removed by these three people, and super dangerous, man. You getting the like, Cyclops blast to the face? That's crazy. But congratulations, Death Stelling. You will be added to the draw at the end of the month. Time for the question. So, Dark Days: The Forge has a sweet metal cover. So, gimmicks are back in full force. Prepare yourself for more gimmicks. But they're all kind of rehashes of older gimmicks. So what I want to know from you in the comments is your ideas for fresh, new gimmicks that they haven't done yet. So, I mean, they've already done scratch and sniff covers. So maybe I would say it's like an origami cover. You take it and you fold it and it turns into this crazy thing. There you go. That's my idea, an origami cover. Uh, and it would be good for sales because collectors will buy one to keep and one to fold in an origami. So, bonus. So let us know in the comments what your new gimmick is. The best answer will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, please remember to connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. It's the best place to keep up to date 
on anything going on in the world of Stadium Comics. We've got an awesome signing coming up, uh, not this weekend, but next. Uh, I believe it's Saturday, June 24th. Um, it is with George Todorovsky. He is the creator behind the book. Awesome uh, sci-fi anthology book here. Uh, plus, he's one of the creators of the Bear Stories. We're uh, thankful to have the team from the Bear Stories out again at our store, representing. Ricky, anything you want to add? Kevin, I don't know if you heard the news. Yes. But, uh, new Kickstarter. I did hear that. When's the, when's the, uh... June 20th. June 20th. New Kickstarter for Happily Ever After. This time, it's a graphic novel. It's like a full... That's like, crazy. Like, over 100-page book. It's gonna be nuts, man, and you guys are gonna want it. Cause it's gonna be part of something real special. How are you gonna launch this? Like, how? What's what's the plan? Like, by launching it into the world. Is how you launch it? Are you gonna have like? Uh, there's no like. Uh, there's no like wine and cheese launch party or I mean, anything like maybe. that. Maybe. I'll see what I, I, can I, do. I would dig a wine and cheese yeah. style event. Right. Doesn't even have to be good wine. As long as the cheese is good. You know what I'm saying? Cheese? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like not not from the like. Uh, Sliced cheese aisle, like from the artisan <laughs> cheese aisle, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. But like, you know, some of that like classy, like I don't know which farm this came from, cheese, like some place you never heard of. Not like Black Diamond yeah. or uh, Cracker Barrel. Enough about cheese. Can we talk about the Kickstarter? Here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Let's get back to your so, Kickstarter. So June twentieth is gonna launch, and it's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. You can get the full book. Uh, you can get some some of the same prints that we had last time. We're reoffering them. There's new ones, uh, and it's, we're gonna have like new prints by like authors and creators. It's gonna be crazy, man, and it's gonna be even better than the first one. Yeah, man, that all sounds really good. You know what else sounds yeah, good is brie cheese. Yeah. You know, yeah. but, no. It's our yeah. cheese guy. <laughs> no, I'm excited, man. I uh, your Kickstarter last time was fun. Uh, how it all went down, and the book was the book was even more fun. And I think people are kidding themselves if uh, they don't think that they need this book as part of their collection. Uh, and I get no money from the sale of this book. I'm just saying that uh, as, as a fan of comics. You can buy copies from you if you want. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'll buy a copy for me. Uh, yeah, I want you to make all the money, Ricky. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's it for this week, everyone. Uh, enjoy your comics this week, and we'll see you all next time uh, on this same YouTube channel that you are watching right now.